Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders, great millstone and root well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing this true doctrine across the four winds, earth, and all truth and necessary. I'm Lamar Ariyah from the Mississippi Count. Lord willing, this be a fine lesson. And this lesson is kind of just going to go into um, the Lord preserving his elect. Because, you know, from the beginning, the Lord created spirits chosen to be his first fruit. Chosen to be a part of the governing body. Chosen to be his prophets. Chosen to be his elect. To do his bidding. To do the bidding of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. And we've come now to the time where. The Lord has his prophets prophesying the downfall of America, proclaiming the names of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, warning the people, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, gathering the elect by the word, by this gospel, condemning the heathen nations, condemning two thirds of Israel. Warning them if they don't, you know, get their act together, repent, come back to the Heavenly Father and the Son, that they're going to be destroyed. But also letting them know that they will be coming back in the kingdom of heaven through the loins of the Lord's elect. They will be in their right minds, lost actions, commandments, and their irritable parts. The nation of Israel as a whole will be made perfect. And would be the top nation on the planet Earth above all other nations. We will be immortal. We will never die, never get weary, you know, never be faint. You know, we, we're going to be just an angelic being, man. Pretty much. Because there were promises given to our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And Jacob had 12 sons. And those 12 sons are going to, or not going to be, but are uh, of the northern and southern kingdom which are tribes and from each one of those tribes the 12 tribes are going to be 12,000 men that the Lord has preserved or reserved to be a part of the 144,000 men which is his elect okay So with that being said, we got um want to get the scripture here in First Kings uh, chapter nineteen. Um, verse eighteen. It says, yet I have left me 7,000 in Israel, all the knees which have not bowed unto Baal, and every mouth which have not kissed him. And again, in this day and time, the Lord, and, and 7,000 just goes into a complete number, completion. Because 
again, the Lord in this time have men preserved who are not going to bow down to this system, who are not going to lose faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh and put their faith in man to accommodate any uncomfortable situations to accommodate any kind of mishaps or to be in a state of normalcy so they speak under the rulership of the wicked which is the nation of Esau the Edomites the so called white man And those men will stand stiffly and boldly for Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, regardless of the things that we will lose, the possibility of being put to death, dealing with uncomfortable situations. That's why we're going to have faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Abaratazah with widows, men and believe the things that the Lord has said that he's going to be there to provide for us in those trying times, the hour of temptation the uncomfortable situations being pilgrims we believe that the Lord is going to shelter us that we believe the Lord is going to protect us feed us because he has said it. And he said he is not a man that he can lie. So again, I'm going to go back into 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 18. But this time I'm going to read it, the NLT. It says, Yet I will preserve 7,000 others in Israel who have never bowed to Baal or kissed him. So the word I'm focusing on is preserve. Okay. And it's the definitions of preserve in the etymology dictionary. Okay. And I'm just going to go down. It says, keep, preserve, guard beforehand, okay? To keep safe. Prevent from spoiling. Preserve. Earlier it meant preservation. Okay, hold up. Fruit preserved with sugar. And I had mentioned how the Lord's elect are that first fruit. And if anybody knows how in the older days, our grandparents, parents, great-grandparents, how they were preserved fruits and vegetables how they would put them in the, the mason jars and you know whether they cook it up or just put it in raw with a particular fluid a liquid or whatever and bring water to boil and put it the mason jar inside the boiling water and seal the lid cause it to do a slight suction to secure the freshness of that fruit or vegetable that's being preserved. And by us being that first fruit, that hedge, that covering of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is what's keeping us safe 
from any kind of tangible or bacterial type elements, if you will. Now, we go through things true enough. But that preservation cannot be removed because it's the Lord who's preserving us. Okay? Um, protected place for an animal or plant. That's really not what I'm looking for on that one. But these uh, and the definitions from WordNet preserve, keep or maintain unaltered conditions caused to remain or last. Because that's how we're able to do this work. That's how we are able to go out on the highways and byways to preach this gospel in the name of Yahweh Because the Lord is keeping us and he causing us to remain and last okay preserve keep it safety and protect from harm we're out there in the elements man on the highways and byways people coming and going traffic passing flowing through we're in an open range if you will where people can do or try anything to bring us bodily harm or whatever but the Lord has his angels around us because the scripture says when two or three are gathered in my name, I am what? I am in the midst of them. Yahweh Shimei Yahshai via the angels are in the midst of his men. Okay? So that's that, that protection, that covering we have. And we know the angels are there. Though we can't see them, we know they're there. And sometimes the Lord will give us that reassurance by sending a particular angel through in the in the form of a human man just to reassure us because the spirit let us know but just to reassure us that he is in the midst of us just a faith booster okay keep in safe keep in safety and protect from harm decay loss or destruction and that's that is a beautiful definition of preserve when it comes to protecting keeping safe from destruction because what's coming to this place destruction complete utter destruction is coming to America and I want to get this definition in the book of Matthew chapter 24 verse 22 and it reads, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So the Lord is shortening the days for the elect, man, because there's so much wickedness going on. It's, 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 it's just pretty much almost unbearable. The Lord is sick of all the things he's seeing, the abomin abominations, just the continual wicked uh, um, ways of this rulership. The, the, the stiff-necked Israelites. You know the 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 denouncing and the the lack of acknowledgement of a higher power being of the nation of Israel, the Creator, Yahweh Shimei Yahusha. The lack of fear that that dwells in the hearts of people. And it's going to be such a great judgment coming that the Lord is going to preserve his elect from that destruction. And 
Call her law, you have about seen me out shot. That the Lord have allowed us to be in his good grace and his mercy to receive that um that mark of exemption, if you will. Let me get this quick scripture in First Peter chapter 4, verse 18. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? And the righteous is going to be scarcely saved from their destruction. When no missiles come touch down in America, a.k.a. Babylon, That's that that's that uh that's that mark of exemption being preserved from the destruction, the chaos, the death. Another definition for for preserve to keep up and reserve. For personal or special use. Man. The Lord have given us duties, jobs. To teach this word. To go on the highways and byways. Preach this gospel. Sound the trumpet. Warn the people. On the highways and hedges. The concord places. That those who this word resonate with would come into the fold, man. And it's not our words when, when brothers out there teaching and preaching. These are the words that have by me out shy. That are coming forth out of our mouths through the spirit of you have by me out shy. And that's beautiful, man. I want to read that definition again. To keep up and reserve for personal. Because the Lord has reserved us to do his bidding. Or special use. This is a, a, a the way the Lord using us is a, is a very special way, man. And it's a very special use. Of the way he's using us. Because it could lead to salvation. It could lead to. Not having to face that second death. It could lead to being protected. In Jacob's trouble man. In the worst times to come. Since there ever been a nation on earth. Can't beat it man. This, this truth man. Being a part of this truth. Being a part of the Lord's elect, being a part of the house of David, man. This is where it's at. Everything else is 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 vanity, is vain, is carnal. It's 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 an expiration date on what people consider life under this rulership of this devil. And it has an end, and the end is very close. But those who believe me, how about see me outside, come back to the ways of the Lord has a reward that is going to be eternal. And that's what we're looking for. To receive those palms. To receive those crowns from Yahweh Shai. For what? Standing stiffly and boldly for the names of Yahweh Shai. For this truth. Man, that's 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 pretty much it, man.
that's pretty much it, man. Just wanted to go through that, man. How being just you know being is true, man. Being a, being preserved or being reserved, however you want to put it, man. But by the Lord dealing with us, and Abu Rathazah continue to deal with us, and we're a part of that number, man. It's the greatest thing that we could ever receive. This the greatest reward a person can never get, man, is receiving a reward from the Heavenly Father through His Son for being faithful servants, doing the work, utilizing your talent to spread the gospel in the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahusha. So, hey, Lord willing, this was an edifying video. You know, just through the spirit, just wanted to kind of highlight the word preserved, man, and the significance of it. You know, it's not a light word under the circumstances of being a part of the elect. Because the Lord protects us, he guides us, he keeps us from harm, from danger, and destruction. So Lord willing, this is an edifying lesson. Again, I want to give all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem Yahusha. Double honor to our apostles and elders of great millstone that rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.